So any any specific tools uh, that you have used to uh, enable the security? Yeah, so with God's grace, I can say I got an opportunity with the leader with whom I am working as of now. He gave me a free hand in driving um, a tool named as Checkmarks, which is used to scan the vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. So from HDFC point of view for our vertical, I am the single point of contact who is yeah, collaboratively working since last year with the vendor in driving this check marks. It started all with the on-premise and now we have moved to a cloud SaaS model. And um, the scan types include your SaaS, your SCA, and now we have included kicks also, which uh, yeah, secures your infrastructure, maybe Docker file, maybe Kubernetes or Terraform, anything, mm -hmm. or your manifest files. So apart from that, we are using SonarCube and for SonarCube also, um, I am, I, I may not say the single point of contact, but I am the single point of failure for Sonar Cube. But for Checkmarks, I am single point of contact as, as of now. We haven't any point of failure yet. Okay. Yeah, those two, yeah, two tools we are using as of now. So, did you evaluate Checkmarks uh, comparing with some other product? How was this decision made? No, uh, when I joined just two months ago, the decision was made that check marks would be onboarded. Um, already it was being onboarded to bank, but mm -hmm. to our vertical, it was me who who onboarded. Uh, ideally, our yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, ideally our responsibilities was that uh, we as a DevSecOps engineer, we should only help to integrate those tools in our pipeline. That was the major responsibility. But mm -hmm. as it was an open playground and uh, there was no restriction, and I took uh, adult responsibilities and and drive it or I drove it. Okay. Uh, any specific uh, benefits that have come through? Any you can quantify uh, using check marks? Uh, see, basically, yeah, these are parameters would have come into picture before making the decision of onboarding into bank. But uh, coming to your question, what has been the benefit of using this? As user point of view, I can say it's pretty, uh, I can say straightforward and pretty flexibility for any users. They can, the integration was not, uh, although the, Although the integration was a yeah, little complex or ha had a twist, but yeah, consuming those from a user point of view, it's pretty yeah, straightforward and they can generate the report. Yeah, which again, yeah, based on uh, the approval, can take ahead with their release process or with the further process of DevOps. But what, what is the benefit you have got after integrating this tool? Okay, the benefit is that we we have a ground level of check as of now because we we haven't integrated over the pipeline. Apart from that, we have all also integrated in the IDE plugins of the developer. Assume me as a developer who is developing uh, uh, any app or any website with XYZ tech stack. And Sorry, are managing... you saying you have not integrated in the pipeline yet? No, no, pipeline also integrated and okay. we have also ID integrated also. in the ID also. Okay, got it. Okay. So, yeah, so there are two level of yeah, sanitization done. First is from the ID level, like uh, they're not in the bank environment or, or not in the in the DevSecOps environment, rather in the developer environment. And when they are pushing to our environment, then our pipeline takes care because in our pipeline it's already integrated. What are the benefits you have received so far with this tool? Uh, benefits we have received, we have uh, the vulnerable free of uh, applications. So, so that's the primary thing of uh, what kind of issues uh, has this reported? Do you remember any specific or any 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 type uh -huh. of issues that it reports? Uh, see, uh, see, there are multiple scan categories uh, uh, under check marks, uh, starting from SAS, which is source code application, then uh, HCA source composition analysis and kicks. So multiple features. Uh, multiple vulnerabilities comes under different categories. For mm -hmm. SAS, it is pre-built, like until unless your application is built, you can have a scanning under SAS category. 
for coming into hca when your application is built you need few dependencies libraries or few third party libraries which helps in building your application right, right? so that comes under source code uh, means analysis so, okay source composition uh, so analysis third one is the kicks which points to a repository in a, so in our bank we have a single pointed repository or a standard repository where our helm charts docker file resides so that is taken care by kicks so the main advantage of this is that we are we are sanitizing the application completely we are scanning the vulnerability we are fixing the vulnerabilities at a very granular stage give me one or two example of these vulnerabilities um, see it depends again uh, okay i can say as of now recently i i got one uh, from a specific project um, it was from a docker file while scanning the docker file via kicks so it had multiple or three multiple errors the first being um, those people of uh, those project team they haven't met the standard of of creating the docker file like in bank we have created a standard of creating a docker file so there are numerous points yeah starting from the size then using uh, a standard or basic image so these are all the few points which we have set as the best practices of creating a docker file or a docker image so so these people they haven't met such so that's very basic right standard not followed is 